I love talking about saline soils. Not that I like saline soils, but I like talking about this issue because it absolutely can be fixed. Now, the only question here is, how much are you going to spend and how long is it going to take to get the return that you're looking for? But we're gonna to talk today about how you fix saline soils once and for all. Brian, let's start by defining saline soils because there are a lot of issues that happen out there and sometimes we get soil tests from a farmer that says, well, I've got a high level of sodium and they say, I've got a saline soil. Let's not get confused here. When we've got a really high level of sodium, like 10% base saturation or higher, we've got a sodic soil. With saline soils, we've got a high level of soluble salts. So it's a little bit different problem uh, but the fix is pretty clear. The reason why the fix is clear is because of the, the words that Darren just used, soluble salts. Well, if it's soluble, what does that mean? That means in water, it's gonna flush out of your soil if you have good drainage. That's the whole key here. You have to have good drainage. If today you've got a saline issue, it's most likely because you don't have tile in the field or because you don't have enough calcium in your soil either. So those are the main two things that we need to talk about. All right, when it comes to drainage, some farmers will say, well, wait a minute now, saline soils, the parent material in my soil has a big part to do with this. And if the soil was meant to drain, it probably should drain. Hold on, just stop right there. We've got a problem here that didn't happen overnight. This is something that's gradually built up in your field and gotten worse and worse. And as this problem progresses, it inhibits your plants from even pulling water up out of the soil. So eventually you're gonna have issues with anything growing in those parts of the field. You don't want that, and that's not how nature was intended to be in this part of the field. We've got an issue with drainage. For one reason or another, this part of the field is not drained well, and we can fix it, and we can improve the environment. This isn't a negative thing. Sometimes I'll hear farmers say, well, this is a negative. If I'm flushing salts out, well, I've got salt that's gonna head down the river. Yeah, a little bit of salt for a short period of time, and after that, you've got clean, clean water. Well, Darren, hold up just a second there. Clean, clean water can have a lot of salt. Think about how much salt you put on your food every day. There's way less than that that's gonna go out of your field in terms of actual pounds per gallon of water. So here's where I'm going with this thing. We've gotta make sure that we're not just talking about surface drainage here. If you wanna fix a saline soil, the problem is below ground. The problem is you don't have drain tile in that field. So you've gotta look though at how much drain tile do you need. If you've got really heavy ground, that basically means you're gonna to have to have more drain tile spaced at a little closer spacing. So that's the first thing. Then you also wanna take a look at, hey, are all these salts soluble today? Well, like Darren said, okay, sodium, if it was just a sodium deal, we'd have to turn that to a salt. Well, again, with saline, it is soluble. So we're not too worried about it. It should flush out of your soil pretty well. If you look then at your calcium levels, if you find your calcium levels below 60, below 65% on a base saturation test, then yes, you're most likely gonna need some more calcium out there, probably in the form of gypsum would be our recommendation, but you may be able to use lime as well. With calcium, it's a fairly large molecule and it helps with porosity in the soil. It also helps that soil Soil just have a little more air space and it allows more natural drainage too. So if you've got more space in between those soil particles, you've got a little more room for things to move through more quickly. The last thing that I'll throw out here is if you want to get some high carbon residue in the field in those bad, bad spots that are saline, you certainly could take some bales, some straw bales, hay bales, something like that, and, in, and till them into the ground to help you out a little bit in the short term. But the number one thing, again, that you've got to do is get some drain tile out there. You may need to add some more calcium. And yes, certainly you could throw some high carbon residue out as well. But do those things and you're going to fix this problem. It's not going to change 100% overnight, but you're going to find in a very short amount of time, you're going to be able to raise crop there. And eventually you're going to be able to raise amazing crop there. Like so many things in agriculture, fixing a saline soil just requires you to do the next best thing that you can do. The next decision, make the right one. The same thing is true with our Weed of the Week. Make the next decision the right one. We'll show you what some of those right decisions are coming up later in the show. <music>